try to install Windows 10 on external USB hard drive, in this case, Samsung SSD, you may get this error where it says Windows cannot support configuration or installation of this connected to USB ports. Now, the best way to get Windows 10 onto your external USB hard drive is using a program called Win2 USB. But before you do that, let us do step one, which is plugging in your external USB hard drive. Once you've plugged in your external USB hard drive, search for this PC, right click, hit manage. In the management window, the first step that we'll do is go to disk management because we want to format our SSD, our external USB hard drive, to file system NTFS. You can find your USB external hard drive. I have a 500 gig Samsung SSD, and I know that this particular drive is the 500 gigabyte SSD because it has a little bit less than 500 gigabytes, but close enough for me to know, okay, this is the 500 gigabyte SSD, and it does not have drive letter C. I right click and hit format. It says that this is the active partition on this disk. So are you sure you want to format this partition? Yes. What you want to do is make sure that the number one thing is the file system is NTFS. And you want to leave this checked off, perform a quick format. You can leave allocation unit size by default and you hit OK. And you can hit OK on that second prompt. It should only take a couple seconds. And then afterwards, the formatting is complete. It just says NTFS healthy active partition. You can close this window out. Step two, you want to get the Windows 10 ISO. To get the Windows 10 ISO, you visit this link. I'll leave a link in the description. You can hit the download tool now button. And it is a small file. It's a media creation tool, and I'll save it to my desktop. After downloading this program, you just want to open it up. In the meanwhile, we will also get the Win to USB program, which is at this link. I'll leave it in the description as well. You hit the download version 3.5, and then you download it to your desktop as well. And that file is 5 megabytes, so it shouldn't take too long. After those two downloads have completed, you want to open it up. First up is the media creation tool, which is the Windows 10 software. This software allows you to download the Windows 10 ISO, which we will be using to install Windows 10 directly onto the USB external hard drive. You can click accept on the terms of agreement and you wait until it loads. Afterwards, you want to select the second option, which is creating installation media for USB flash drives, DVD, or ISO file, and you hit next. For this particular step, you can select your custom edition and architecture, but by default, this menu is checked off, which it uses to recommend the options for this PC, which is typically just what you have installed on your machine currently. If you want custom settings, you can uncheck this and then select Windows 10 Home, for instance. But by default, I would just leave everything checked because that's what I would do since you likely will want to install the same Windows 10 onto your external USB hard drive. Next step is to select the ISO file option because we want the ISO file. You hit next and you save it anywhere onto your machine. I already have the file on my machine because I downloaded it earlier. But if you hit properties on the file, you can see that the size of the file is 3.38 gigabytes. So make sure that you have enough time and space on your machine for 3.38 gigabytes. You can hit the save button, but for me, I'm just going to hit cancel because I already have this downloaded and X out of this window. All I wanted to use the Windows 10 setup was to download Windows 10 ISO. Next, you want to open up the window to USB executable. Okay, 
So I am going to open Win to USB executable. I hit yes and OK. And then I already have the software installed, but I'll redo the setup. Now the setup comes to this license agreement. And you can select I accept the agreement, next. And then you select next. And then next again. I had a little prompt that said, oh, you already have this folder installed. I don't want to create a desktop shortcut. And then you just install Win to USB. And you hit finish. Now after the program has installed, you can search Win to and then you will find the win to usb program you hit yes on any problems that come up and then the program looks like this the first thing that you see is a window that says it's checking for updates but all you do is hit ok because you downloaded it straight from the source and if you've downloaded it straight from the source it should already be updated now all you do is select this file icon over here and then you select your Windows ISO, which was just called Windows.ISO, and you open it up. You have a selection of operating systems that you can choose. My recommendation is to search this PC, right click, hit properties, and see what currently your Windows edition is. My Windows edition is Windows 10 Pro. And most likely, you want the same operating system on your external USB hard drive. So in my case, I'm just going to leave it option 1, which is Windows 10 Pro. You hit Next. And then you select your destination disk. Your destination disk should contain your USB external hard drive. And you can also double check by the drive letter. Mine was G. It has the NTFS file system and it has almost 500 gigabytes because I have a 500 gigabyte USB external hard drive. You need to select the system partition and the boot partition, but if you formatted it in this video, then you should only have one partition, so there is only one choice. You click on those choices. You can leave by default legacy mode, and then you just hit next. And afterwards, all you have to do is wait until this Win to USB does its thing and installs Windows 10. After Win to USB finishes, you restart your computer and then you start hitting F2 to get into your BIOS of your computer. You want to go to the boot tab and at the boot tab, make sure that boot mode is legacy support, boot priority is legacy first, and fast boot is disabled. Then you go to the exit tab and exit while saving changes. We do this because when we restart your computer, you want to hit F12 or F10 or F8. F12 gets me to boot manager on my Lenovo ID Pad Y700 laptop. For your laptop or your computer, the key might be different. Just try to hit all of them to be honest. That's what I would do. And the reason why I changed those BIOS configurations earlier is because when my computer is not in legacy mode or legacy support, I cannot get into the boot manager. So that is why I hit F2 to begin and change the boot settings so that legacy support would work. Afterwards, since you are booting into your external USB hard drive, I chose to boot into the Samsung hard drive, which has the directly installed Windows 10. It starts getting ready. You know, you can assume this is a step that is after using a Windows bootable USB flash drive. It has the little getting ready circle. It's going to install Windows 10 and set it up. And then all you do is you go through the configurations, which I'll slide through each main part with you. And then eventually at the final moment, you boot into Windows 10. And then it is empty. It is a brand new installation of Windows 10. If this helped you with installing Windows 10 directly onto your USB external hard drive, I'm happy for you. Thanks for watching. See you later.